Many people have been talking about 2012. There have been predictions about the Mayan calendar, the world coming to an end, polar shifts and catastrophes and the world coming to an end. And other people have these predictions that the planets will line up and the vibrations will change and our DNA will change and will evolve into different beings. And there are so many interesting things and so, so many people are thinking what's going to happen in this year 2012. So why don't we make a record of the year 2012? At the end, if we're still here, we can look at this beautiful record. If we're not here, well, it doesn't matter anyway. At least we've had fun making this record. So the idea for 2012, Project 12, is that people all around the world take a photograph or make art once a month. We have four categories. And the first category is called 12, 12, 12. In this category, what, what we want you to do is to take a photograph or make art on the 12th of January, 12th of February, 12th of March, 12th of each month throughout the year. So in the end you'll end up with 12 photographs. Every month you take your photograph or your painting or it can be sculpture, drawing, dance, a song, music, a poem, with any kind of art at all. Take a photograph of it or a video, upload the photograph to the website or the video link. You can put the, the video on YouTube or some other kind of site that hosts videos and then put the link onto the website of 2012, Project 12. You can be very extreme with the 12s and you can have it, um, you can take the photograph at 12 seconds after 12 minutes after 12 noon on the 12th of each month. You don't have to be that exact but if you ha at least have it at 12 noon on the 12th of each month in the year 2012. 2012 is the only year in the century that ends in a 12 and has 12 months. So we might as well use this conflagration of the number 12 to make something really beautiful. Our second category is called Peace 12. And in this category we ask people to make their art or photography based on subjects that inspire world peace. So for example you could maybe take a photograph of a child of a different race every month. Most of the media in the world focuses on the differences of people instead of focusing on what's similar about people. And if we realised just how much more similar we are than different, there would be less wars in the world, less fighting. So let's use this opportunity to, through art and photography, to show the world that we can be peaceful, that we are brothers and sisters of a one world. Then our fourth category is called Gaia 12. And Gaia is the name of Mother Earth. We want to use the art and photography in this category to inspire people to look after Mother Earth better, to be inspired to, and encouraged to learn about environmental issues to take more responsibility for Mother Earth. So through your art and photography, again, could be sculpture, dance, video documentaries, poetry, paintings, whatever. I'm an oil painter and I've been painting beaches from around the world. And sometimes, most of the time you go down to the beach, there's some junk on the beach. But we want to show the, the world that if you want a clean beach, you have to stop throwing junk into the ocean. So my things have got no junk on them. They're beautiful beaches that you would love to go for a walk on. So each month I will be uploading one of my a photograph of one of my paintings about of a different beach from a different part of the world. And under underneath in the explanation of the paintings, then I talk about how I want to inspire people to stop throwing trash into the ocean. Then our fourth category is called a study of 12, which can be whatever your passion is, you put 12 of them in. So if you like flowers, you can maybe take a photograph of a different flower every month. If it's if you're into old video game consoles, you can make, take a, a video, make a little documentary and say this month I'll do Dreamcast and talk about how when the Dreamcast was made and what specs it is and what's good about it, what's bad about it. Just two or three minute video. 
upload that to YouTube or some other video site and put the link onto the website. And then the next month you could maybe do Nintendo and PlayStation 1 and all the old ones. There's uh, one one kid, he said to me, oh, and I was explaining Project 12 to his mother. He said, I want to take part, I want to take part. I said, well, what would you like to do? He said, I'd like to make 12 Lego fingers. And just then he was playing with Lego. So I thought that's really great, you know. Um, of course, the rules, you know, so many rules and regulations with things nowadays that minors are officially not allowed to take part. But um, under, under their parents' supervision and their parents' names, if the parent applies, they could parent could take photograph of Lego, a Lego sculpture that their child has made. We have made it into a competition. So in the four categories, each a person who wins the most votes in each category will win photographic equipment up to the value of 1,200 euros. Then the overall winner will win a trip to Iceland. Now Iceland is where I live and it's really, really amazing country. And if you're an artist or a photographer, or just say anybody. I'm sure you would have a lovely time here in Iceland and I will be your personal guide and I'll take you around Iceland and show you the amazing places where you can take lots of photographs and experience Icelandic life. Not to put off Icelanders themselves. If somebody who lives in Iceland wins the competition then they will get a trip to another destination, another country, so you don't have to worry about that. It will be really fun making this record. Uh, 2012 Project 12 is a non-profit organisation, a registered non-profit organisation. So just for running costs we're charging 12 euros and hopefully that will cover all the, all the running costs and the prizes and everything. Our goal is at the end to take the best of these uh, entries and make them into photographic books and DVDs if we have a lot of video entries and then we want to have exhibitions around the world. Already several uh, cultural departments of cities in parts of the world have told us that they are very interested in holding a 2012 Project 12 exhibition in their country, in their town. So wouldn't that be great we can, in 2013, if the world is still here, we can tour around the world and show people the art and photography of submissions from all around the world. Amazing journey, a record, a journal <laughs> into the year 2012 and I invite you all to join us and really make this a most amazing global art and photography project ever seen. See you there.